Hi guys, so guess what I have? I have the new Blue Blood palette by Jeffree Star and I also picked up the new liquid highlighter. You guys haven't seen my highlighter video, I'll link it down below, but I have been wearing Canary Bling religiously, um, but sometimes I just hate the pink shimmer in it. Uh, I was not expecting the pink undertone when I heard the name Canary Bling, so I'm going to be trying out the new highlighter today, and then I am also trying out the Blue Blood Palette. So once you open the box, um, this is what mine looked like. They didn't put the paper in very nicely like they usually do. It's just kind of all like crumbled in there probably so it doesn't break. Um, so I'm just going to take that off. And then this is ah, the blue blood blue, 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 the blue blood palette. So they have the really cute crown emblem for Jeffree Star. I'm gonna try not to rip it. This is a giant sticker on here. Um, I have a feeling I'm just not gonna end up with it. Okay. No. Okay. So you open it up, and this is what the carton looks like. This is way bigger than the, um, what's it called? This is way bigger than the blood sugar palette. If you guys haven't seen my blood sugar review too, I will link that down below. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I hated the blood sugar palette. Like, me and the blood sugar palette do not work. I didn't even bring it with me when I moved to Arizona. Like, it's still in Texas. That's how much I do not use the palette or like it. The colors just did not look good on me. Um, but I'm really excited for blue because I love blue colors. They are my thing. So the carton is really like smooth to touch. It kind of has like wood detail. Um, it has the pretty little stuff on the side. And then the little emblem also is the crown. So I'm gonna try to open this. Oh, okay, so you pull it out like this. Ah, there it is, the Blue Blood palette. So I'm just gonna pop this bad boy out. Wow, like this color is like Tiffany blue. It is gorgeous. I love this. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. I already can tell that I like this more than the blood sugar palette. The blood sugar palette, when I got it, it was like stained. Like the compartment was just like that like kind of velvety touch. So it stained really easily. Um, wow. I'm already impressed because none of my pans are sticking out like the blood sugar palette. That one was just a hot mess. So the mirror is ginormous. I'm surprised there's not a film over it, but that's okay. And then these are the colors. Can we just take a second? I don't even know what kind of look I'm going to create. But um, over here they have like a money bag, a diamond, lips, a cloud, and a coffin. Oh, and then another crown right here. And then this is the liquid frost. I will put this on after because I tend to do that once I'm finished with my eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm just going to stick this box over here. Okay, so these colors are so pretty. I can do a couple swatches. I'm really interested in this one. So there's one swatch. I'm not even going to bother swatching like the mattes because mattes are just weird to swatch. Okay, those are bomb. And then we're gonna go into ice tray. Wow. Okay, fun fact, when I first started getting into makeup ever, my mom was like, okay, go on Mac, cause she had like a little Mac Pro, cause she was a hairstylist. She's like, okay, go on Mac and pick out your favorite eyeshadow colors. And I'm pretty sure I picked out lime green, um, cyan blue, and like just like four, like I made like a little quad and like three of them were blues and then it was one lime green. And I just wore those colors all the time. So this is definitely bringing me back. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in like I don't I'm tired of looking at it I just want to put it on my eyes so first things first I think I'm gonna go in with priceless because I'm pretty sure that will give a good contrast against the blues or maybe wealthy first I'm just gonna put wealthy in all over my lids oh wait that's way too light that could be used as like a highlight color okay so yeah we're going into priceless and I'm just gonna stick this in my crease it's pretty similar to like my skin tone, so it's not really gonna show up. That's okay. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to go into the blues because um, both of those are very close to my skin tone. Um, what color is a good transition color? I think I'm just gonna go in with 
Oh, celebrity skins in here? Maybe I should try celebrity skin. Okay, I'm gonna go on with celebrity skin. Okay, so it does have a lot of kickback. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, but it is very like powdery. Um, not a bad thing as long as the pigment's good. Okay, yeah, Celebrity Skin is a much better transition shade. Here we go. I can tell this palette's gonna get so messy already just based on like the kickback I'm getting right now. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with I'm Cold. We're just going to take it there. I'm just going to put blue all over my eyes today. So I'm just going to dip into I'm Cold. I'm using the same brush. Okay. Okay, wow, well, look what I just did. Um, but besides that, look, I'm not really getting much color payoff. I'm going to go fix my face real quick. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay, so I'm a little concerned because I'm not getting a lot of color payoff. I'm just gonna try to do this eye. Like, it's really light, like almost nothing. So, I'm gonna try maybe like a denser brush. And we're just gonna go into Blue Blood, I guess. We'll see if this one has color. This one looks like it has more color payoff, but like that first one, like, I'm not lying. Like, you guys see this. It looks like I didn't put anything on my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with this brush because this is like my blending brush. Okay, the color, I feel like the more I blend, the more it's like wiping away. <laughs> like it's not getting darker, it's kind of like fading. But this is just like the kind of transition because I'm gonna go in with much darker colors because we're gonna see how those pay off. But like so far, um, I mean, it's okay. I kind of look like a little street worker, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go with Blue Blood. See how, like, it's like a baby blue when I first put it on, and then when I blend it out, it kind of, like, goes, like, teal. It gets a little wonky. Okay, I feel like my eyes are two completely different colors right now. Okay, that's a little better. These are not blending as seamlessly as like my um, Thirsty palette. It's a little patchy, just a little, just a little patchy. I feel like the queen of hearts right now. Off with your heads. Serving you queen of hearts look. Okay, I think this is the best we're going to get right now. <laughs> okay. So now, so basically this one, like these three colors are like no payoff, but Celebrity Skin paid off and Blue Blood paid off. So now I'm going to try to go in. Those are basically like all the blues. So I guess I'm going to... How much should I put in my crease? Flourishing? Okay, we'll go with Flourishing. I'm starting to get a little stressed. Just a little stressed. Okay, so we're going into flourishing and we're just gonna try to deepen out. Okay, that looks teal in here, but it shows up like way more blue. I love this color. Okay, there's a lot of fallout happening underneath my eye. I don't know if you guys can see that. Usually I do my eyes first anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but since I did my face first this time, it's kind of... Okay, these kind of smell like an Expo marker. Okay. Wowza. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go in with, let me swatch this one first. No, I will not go with my color scheme. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a dark, dark color. I think I'm going to go in with cremated. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with 
Okay, so like it's kind of these colors aren't that that pigmented. Um like I feel like they're all kind of coming out very similar. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of dimension in here. So then, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with Undertaker, and I think I'm just gonna try to deepen up this crease. Okay, next brush with Undertaker. Like, I feel like the bat it's just like flying away. Like, it looks so dark in the pan, but when I put it on, it's like not, it's just not giving it to me. I feel like I'm getting catfished again. Okay, there we go. I feel like you just waste a lot of product trying to get, like, payoff on the darker ones and, like, the lighter ones. <laughs> like, main blue you're seeing right now is um, Flourishing, which looks teal in the pan. Um, that's, like, the main blue you guys are seeing right now. Is there, like, a black in here? Okay, so I can't decide if I want to do like, I tried to wipe away the fallout. I cannot decide if I want to do teal on the lid or a light lid. This teal is like so pretty though. Let me see. Okay, we're going with this one. I love this color. So first I'm just gonna cut my crease real quick and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this even looks dope just cutting it, like just cutting my crease like that. So I think I'm gonna kinda do an ombre. So I'm gonna go in with um, this color, Colonum. And I'm just gonna place this on the inner half of my half cut crease, so half of the half. We're just gonna place this on here and this color is stunning it's showing up awesome this is what i want jeffrey oh yes okay so tip if you guys are getting this palette um wait to do your foundation last so you don't look like I do right now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful color. Um, this is called Entitled. Okay, that pigment though, like I'm not gonna knock it when I see pigment. It's just the mattes are a little wonk. Okay, I can tell I'm gonna get a lot of fallout, so just pack it on. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my finger. Now I'm gonna try to deepen up this outer corner. I don't care what it takes. I guess I'm gonna go in with power. Hopefully this one has more color payoff than the other two darker ones. And we're just gonna kinda... Oh yeah, that one's a little bit better. And then I'm gonna go back into flourishing because I don't wanna lose like that pretty, pretty blue. And I'm just going to pack flourishing on top. That popped up. Holy crap. Okay. I'm not going to let it get me down. Okay. I'm just going to move on. Okay. It's pretty though. It is petite though. Okay, so I'm gonna do my highlight real quick and I'm just going to take it off. Take this and pop it under my brow. 
So I look like Elsa, a nice little ice princess. Okay, I love this in the brow highlight. It's a little glittery, but like, who cares? There's no such thing as too much glitter in my book. So I think I'm just gonna kind of play around with this a little bit just to get it how I want it. And then I'm just gonna take a clean finger and I'm just gonna burn up this inner corner because I really want it to be like BAM in your face white. Okay, so I am going to do my eyeliner and lashes off camera and I'm gonna try to fix this fallout and I will be right back. Okay, this fallout is pissing me the off. Like, this is ridiculous. I already wiped it away once and like, look at it. Look at it. Like, under, it's like taking off the makeup under my eyes. Like, I'm gonna have to redo my whole foundation. So, with that being said, do not, I repeat, do not use this palette after you do your foundation. Do it before you do your freaking foundation because this is not cute. It looks like I have a black eye. I'm not happy. Um, the fallout is insane. Like, on every color, it falls out. It's very powdery. It's very, like, you dip it in there and then where'd it go? Uh, I'm gonna try to stay positive, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not too happy. Nope. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my 213 and I'm gonna go into flourishing. Or maybe actually we'll go into deceased. Okay. This one doesn't look like it's gonna have a lot. Okay, so we're going into Deceased and running that on the lash line. This color is actually pretty. And it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Wow, imagine that. Okay, so I wish a lot of the other shades like didn't, oh, there's something in my eye, didn't like fall out as much. That one didn't fall out, so that's good. And now I'm thinking I'm going to go into Ocean Ice. Okay. And I'm just going to... that on top all right so now I'm just gonna apply some bottom mascara real quick okay so let's move on to something I know I'm gonna like my eyes just look like atrocious um, so now we're gonna go on to the liquid frost highlighter this is an ice cream bling I'm so excited I love Canary bling I love this liquid highlighters so hopefully this liquid highlighter makes my mood a little better because right now I'm feeling like I, like I work on the street corner. Like my eyes are so dark, like I should not have done my foundation first. Like it's gonna really bother me. Oh my god. Like I don't know if you guys can see that like my entire foundation is gone right there. Maybe I should try to fix it a little bit. I'm going in with my e.l.f. This is not cold, Jeffrey. There's a bit of a line. Hopefully the highlighter fixes that. All right, whatever. <laughs> so now I'm going in with ice cream bling. I love the blue top. I'm just gonna just do one squirt. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So we're just gonna go on and apply this using my Real Technique sponge. OMG. This highlighter might save the look. I'm in love with this color. Okay, so it has like teal or like green reflex in it, but it's like gold with like green or teal reflex. Like it's very pretty. I love this highlighter. Now we're gonna go in with the other side. And it does feel like the same formula, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, it has like teal reflex in it. It's so pretty. Okay, 
This is so pretty. Okay. Sorry, I just had to douse myself in this real quick. Do you guys see this highlighter? Like, I love this color. Oh my god. Like, I am in love. This, he really did it with this. But this, we need to talk about this. Okay, so my final thoughts. Ow. Okay, so my final thoughts are a lot of the colors don't show up. Like, if you guys saw this one, that one didn't really show up on my skin tone. This one didn't show up. Um, that one didn't show up. The only colors that really showed up on me were Celebrity Skin and Flourishing. The rest of them didn't really show up. The glitters are very, very good. I really like the shimmers in here. I think they're really good, very pigmented. Um, the dark shades, again, didn't really give me like intense pigment like I was expecting. It was kind of like wishy-washy pigment. Um, I was able to create a very pretty look using this palette. I definitely will be keeping the palette. I never return stuff. Um, I just wish some of the colors like were just more like vibrant. Like I felt like my Thirsty palette, like the blues in there, they were very light. But you put them on and it was like bam in your face. These are falling a little flat. Um, let me try to swatch them for you guys. Like there. That's this one. I'm cold. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like, where are you? What? Where? Okay, and then we'll go into Blue Blood. This one swatches well, but again, like, when you try to blend it out, it, di it just disappears. Um, I'm going to swatch Mint Tea just for the heck of it. Oh, that one's actually pretty. Show it in with that one. But again, like, they just kind of, like disappear um, when you blend them which is not good for a eyeshadow because you blend eyeshadows and you don't want it to just like disappear and again with the dark ones they just kind of disappeared um, they did deepen it but I felt like I this color is amazing flourishing is like flourishing save the day if it wasn't for this color my eyes would just look like pastel whatever but um, the shimmers are amazing and the rest of the mattes are kind of, huh, huh. and the fallout, like you guys saw, the fallout is just freaking ridiculous. Like the fallout is crazy. Um, they're not buttery. They're not. They're they're chalky. They fall out all over your face. Do not do your foundation before. Just wait. Use makeup wipe and remove it, and you will be good to go. Okay, you guys. So that is it for my blue blood palette review. This is the final look. I'm just in love with this highlighter like I can't even <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching leave your comments down below if you've tried this palette before and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time